Hi viewers, so today we will be talking about some more commands in the draw menu. So let me click on the draw menu. Here we will discuss ray command, construction line, multi line, and polyline. So we'll start off with the ray command. So let me click on the ray command. Uh, it is asking me to specify the start point because we know that rays starts from one point and then they go towards infinity. So if I click on the x axis direction, then click on the y axis direction, click on the negative x axis, and click on the negative y as well. Similarly, if I click on plus 45 here with the cursor, you can see that there is 45 written over there as an angle and if I click anywhere on that line I will draw a ray at that angle so this is plus 135 yeah let me click over here and then this is minus 45 or plus 315 degree whatever you call it so I can also get some important angles like you know 15 degree I have to click on the 30 degree 45 is already done and here I will click at 60 degree and 75 degree and the 90 is already drawn so I'll press enter to get out of the command alright so we can say that the ray command is used to draw uh, rays uh, from a particular or specific point and it is mainly used for referencing like if you want to draw an object at certain angles we will draw rays at those angles and then we will just arrange those objects at that angle. Similarly, we can also align different objects at certain angles. Uh, so for that, we can draw rays. So now if you want to remove the rays, we have to select the rays. Right? Now if you want to remove any ray that is uh, drawn in the wrong direction, so we have to select that uh, ray. So in AutoCAD when we want to select any object there are three ways to select any object. First you have to click on that object like uh, at this side of the triangle I have clicked and that side is selected. For the next side and for the next side I will click on them and they will get selected. Now this is one way to select any object. The other method is to draw boxes. So for that I have to click below. Uh, move in the direct uh, diagonal direction up in uh, in the upward uh, direction and if I click again over here you can see that the lines or any objects that were touching the sides of the of that box of the green box so they they were uh, selected and if I press delete now they will be deleted those objects will get deleted so if you want to bring the object back we have to press ctrl and z simultaneously and here the object is back on the screen now for blue box i have to click and then move in the downward diagonal direction and make sure that all the objects that you want to select they are inside the blue box so here you can see that all the objects are inside the blue box if i click again now you will see that the objects will be selected and then we can delete them in order to bring them back I'll press ctrl and z simultaneously so now in this case you will see that only the objects that is uh, fully encompassed by the blue box will get selected you know so the objects touching the blue box will not get selected so uh, we have to take great care while selecting objects uh, we have to decide whether we, we will be using blue box or green box. Now if you want to remove all the rays or any of the ray, we can never use blue box because uh, it because the rays they are going towards infinity. So I have to use the green box or select them individually which will take some time. So this way if I click again all the rays they are selected and if I press delete uh, it will be deleted. Similarly, uh, if I go to the construction line command and I click on the construction line, now it is showing me specify a point. So if I click anywhere, 
and then in the negative y direction and then a plus x direction you can see the difference between the ray and construction line the construction line move in both the direction in the direction where you click and in the opposite direction to the uh, to the click area like uh, at 180 degree of that click so uh, th this construction line goes in both the direction towards infinity so uh, similarly if i click over here click again click again click again click again and then click again and last click and if i want to get out of the command i'll press enter now uh, both the ray and construction lines they are used for referencing as I told you earlier so if you want to remove the construction lines we will select them with the green box and then press delete and all the construction lines will get deleted uh, we will be using these construction line and rays in the upcoming drawings for the time being let's consider the next command that is multi line multi line command uh, forms two parallel lines in which one will be above and one will be below so you have to decide which one uh, to be about the, the one you are drawing with the click or the one that is extra so uh, you can see here justification and that shows this that uh, when you click the line on the click will be at the bottom and you know the scale is set as 1 by default will now it is 10 because we have given it the value of 10 so if I click over here now and zoom it you can see that there are two parallel lines and if I zoom it a little bit more you can see that the line that is on the click it is below or at the bottom similarly if I click over here and then click here click here click here and press enter or if I want to close the object let's suppose if you want to go here and then we want to close the object we would just press C enter C enter and here you can see that the object is closed now in this command if you want to go back to the command we'll just press enter we will not go to the uh, draw command and click on the multi line we'll just press enter right so enter and we are back in the same command if you want to decrease the um, distance between the two lines uh, we have to use the scale command and scale starts from s which is different than style which starts from s again but there are two capital letters which are s and t uh, in order to execute scale we have to write s enter and you can see that i am just pressing small s the capital S is just to show you that uh, which letter can be used to execute uh, command from these options. So I'll just uh, write S and then enter. So here uh, the distance is 10. We want to decrease it to 2 for example and then to enter. Now if we click anywhere you can see that the distance between the two lines it has decreased. If I want to press C you know to close the object and get out of the command so here you can see that the distance between these two lines is 10 and in these two lines there is 2 mm distance so this was about polyline and uh, polyline is mainly used to show thickness of plates or thickness of sheets as well as to show uh, the wall thickness in any architectural map of a building or a plaza etc now the next command is polyline and it's quite an important command let's click on the polyline it is asking us to start uh, to specify the start point so we have to click anywhere and then we will go in the direction we want to for example in this direction we want to give the distance of 20 and the uh, y axis we want to give the direction the value of 30 then in the x direction we will give the value of 20 and in the y direction in the negative y direction we will give the value of 30 and then 20 again in the x direction and there are other options we can draw arcs like if I press A enter 
then you can see that now I can draw X right so if I go in this direction and then in the same direction you can see an alternating curve or arcs are generated if you want to keep the, the direction so you have to uh, so there is an option for that the direction lets you set the direction by yourself so for that we have to press D enter and then we have to click on the tangent side so the arcs will have a tangent on on the upper side so I've clicked on the upper side and then if I click anywhere you can say that the direction is the same we can change the radius etc but uh, the direction has been changed now and let's suppose uh, uh, there are other options like you know radius yes we can give the radius and uh, the second point undo we know the width and the half width so let's explore these options and for before that uh, let's go to the line command so line is an option over here for that we have to press L enter and now we can draw you know lines as you can see and let's give it a width so for that we have to write W enter the starting initial width uh, let it be 0 yes 0 the ending width let it be 5 enter and now you can see if, if you click anywhere then we can see that the final width is 5 and the initial width is 0 so we can even give the, the width to the line as well now if we go back to the arc a enter and let's explore half width so half width will work like we want to give a value of uh, 2 mm to the arc uh, line width but uh, now because we have executed the half width option we will give we will give the half width as one so the total width will be two so for that uh, in the r command let's say uh, we'll explore a half width h enter initial half width is 2.5 let it be okay and let's the final half width be 5 so total length will be 10 so 5 and let's click on well, let's let's click over here so now you can see that a tapered arc is drawn where the initial half width was 2.5 and the final half width was so that means the initial width was 5 and the final width was 10 right so uh, I think there is nothing left except uh, you know undo command so let's explore that for that you have to write u enter so u enter again u enter again and now uh, if you want to close this object so we'll write C enter and a line has been drawn from that point where we entered the C and to the initial point so this was the polyline command but the difference that I want to talk about is if I click on the polyline object you can say that all the line or arcs or half width etc they all are selected by just one click so this is quite uh, an important point in the polyline command uh, which can be used in the upcoming videos uh, where we will be exploring fillets and chamfering and uh, we can chamfer any uh, number of cornered object with the polyline uh, with just one click and uh, if we draw this object by line and arcs we have to select each element of the corner like the first line and the second line for just one fillet uh, so a lot of clicking can be saved uh, by utilizing the polyline command so this polyline uh, is quite a handy command that uh, will be explored uh, in the future videos uh, to draw different objects and uh, it will save a lot of time so if you have any question in these four commands uh, the one that we discussed in this lecture like ray construction line multi-line and polyline uh, you can let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching